For today's video, we're going to try out the new tank constructor, who's currently available in the event store for 2800 gold. And before we check out his perks, they're also selling Santa's Little Helper, which is a top 3 rocket launcher. Definitely recommend picking that one up. And they're also selling Power Base Knox. And that's pretty much everything that's new when it comes to the weekly and event store. Anyways, his three main abilities are Going Constructor, Bull Rush, and Plasma Pulse. For a standard perk, he has Bouncy Shield, which is whenever you block up to five attacks with your Going Constructor, it'll create a Sonic Wave that deals 64 base damage to enemies within a half tile. And for his commander perk, whenever you block up to eight attacks with your Going Constructor, it'll deal 128 base damage in a half tile radius. Anyways, here's what he looks like before you get him. A little thicker than most constructors. Damn boy, he's super wide. Well, he got screws in his back and his arms, and I don't think Power Base Knox wanted this type of plastic surgery. <laughs> and he also has those strings you tie around bread, tied around his arms. All right, so we just maxed him out, and the only accessories we got were this helmet after the first evolution, and we also got this backpack after the second evolution. But this is what he looks like when he's fully upgraded. Wide and all outside. While we test it, we're gonna use the totally rocking out team perk. And for our support team, we have Crossbones Barrett, Main Stage Quinn, Swamp Knight, Willow, and Breakbeat Wildcat. And the mission we're gonna do is this power level 132, fight the category three storm, and Cookies is gonna be helping us out. <laughs> So it's going to be kind of tricky, but before we get into the gameplay, I do want to show an example of the Sonic Wave, and I also want to try to see how much damage we can deal with it, but I'm not sure how this is going to work. So let's just eat that, eat that, pull this out, let's block. Oh, was, oh, was that it? Oh, wow. That actually just killed a lot of them really fast. Let's see if it can happen multiple times with one. Oh, it can. And we just killed the taker with it. Oh, wow. The damage you deal with it is actually really good, at least with our current loadout. All right, so it uses 50 energy and has a minute and 40 second cooldown. And I kind of want to see if all attacks work. So let's see. Oh, I think that was the Sonic Wave. It's just that they weren't close enough for us to deal any damage with it. It's only going to deal damage to enemies that are within a half tile, so... You are going to have to really get close in order to deal damage with it. And it looks like it dealt damage every time he was shooting at us. Instead of just five attacks. See, look at that. So it's not necessarily up to five different attacks. Because we were able to trigger our Sonic Wave after just one blast from the blaster. Oh, so it works with Riot Huskies as well. And when you take Affliction Damage, it'll trigger Sonic Wave as well. So the bees can trigger it as well. It almost seems like anything that can deal damage to you can trigger the sonic wave. So I also want to test it out against the power level 132 smasher. And I noticed that when you use it with just the smasher by himself, it doesn't really trigger that much. So we weren't able to deal a lot of damage with it. So we're going to go ahead and try it with all of these husk around us so we can trigger our sonic wave more often. All right. Well, we took almost half of his health away with just one going constructor. But yeah, it definitely seems like it's going to deal more damage the more it triggers. And it doesn't trigger that much if you're just using it against a smasher by himself. Alright, here we go. Yep, look, look at that. It deals damage every time we get hit. Kill yourself. Kill yourself, Tacker. Oh, well, we were able to kill a taker with just one going constructor. He also has Plasma Pulse, which uses 40 energy and has a 45 second cooldown. It deals energy damage and it's going to last for six seconds. He also has Bull Rush, which uses 20 energy. And what? Cookies, I'm still running. Oh my goodness. Cookies? Um, yeah, you got Bull Rush. <laughs> and he also has Bull Rush which uses 20 energy and has a 15 second cooldown. And that extends up to three tiles. That's enough blue glow. Here we go, now turn it back. You oh. got this, Commander. So you got the south, I'll take a look at the northeast. And we're gonna use Santa's little helper since it's available in the weekly store. 
And here are the rows that we have on it. Husk. We also have a couple of defenders helping us out. They're both using 130 obliterators. But I mainly want to try to get as many kills as we can with our shield if possible. Enemy down. I know it sort of has like a long cooldown, but I'll try to use it whenever it's available. Hit me, hit me. Go on, hit me. Yeah, that's what I thought. I kind of wish there were heroes that could either extend the duration or reduce the cooldown. That's going to be one of the main things I don't like about it. It takes forever. But it seemed like the damage we were dealing with it was good against any type of hus, especially like large groups of hus. But yeah, I think when it comes to mist monsters, you're going to want to use both your hammer and your shield because we were only able to take away like half of his health using just our shield but the shield is definitely good against large groups of regular hus so wait do we do we have an element on this we got fire on this yeah we got fire i wasn't even paying attention and we don't have a mini boss i'm gonna go ahead and use my slow field as soon as the spawns change we didn't go over the build limit, but we are very close, and if we need to build some more stuff, we will. First, I want to see where they're coming from. Also, we did change our loadout. I'll go ahead and show you all. Uh, we changed, we ended up adding Breakbeat Wildcat instead of Crossbones Barrett. And we also added Birthday Brigade Jonesy. So wait, where are they coming from now? I think they're coming from the west. Well, oh, yep, I see uh, it. East. Southeast. We don't have any traps over here, but we should be alright because we're using Santa's little helper. And let's go ahead and use our shield again. Let's group them up if we can. And let's see if we can deal some damage. I think he would be really good if you could funnel them up. We may try to funnel them up here. But I feel like the Sonic Wave could be really good against large groups of us that way. Come on, hit me. And let's go ahead and use our Plasma Pulse. And we'll use our Bull Rush when we can. And we got lobbers on this one, Cookie. Alright. Let me try to take him out. But yeah, I feel like he would be really good if you can funnel them up. Matter of fact, let's go ahead and try to funnel them up. We'll go over the limit, but we'll be alright. Let's try to funnel them up a little bit. But again, the cooldown is so long, you're, you're barely ever going to use it. So I don't think his uh, commander and standard perks are really going to be that useful. I'm trying to think, if you put him in your support team, you won't be able to deal as much damage. But you can't put him in your support team. We got a lot of smashers over here, Cookie. All right. And they're destroying the wrong things. I dropped my controller. Oh my gosh, I'm going to and one of our defenders is, I'll get the defender. Need help. I know you right. do. I got you. And let me know if you need help. I got adrenaline rush if you need yeah, it. Yeah, me too, me too, too. I'm gonna be honest with you all. I think the thing I like about him most is that he is, without a doubt, the thickest hero in Save the World. <laughs> He's the widest. <laughs> Oh, Bull Rush came in clutch right there. Good example of when you want to use it. You see Smashers charging at your base. And I want to use my Going Constructor, but I'm going to wait till we get a lot of them over here so I can trigger it a lot. Let's see if we can get some more Husk over here. But yeah, if you don't have the Deatomizer and if you can't get the Wrath yet, I would definitely recommend getting Santa's Little Helper. I think it's like the third, either the second or third best rocket launcher and save the world at the moment kind of depends like I think it's better for single targets compared to the atomizer 9000 but it's not as good when it comes to large groups of regular hus oh compared gosh. to the atomizer they're, they're coming from the west oh there's so many all right I'll I'll watch the southeast if you got the west all right I got the west I'll try to get rid of these lobbers too 
We do have some anti... Oh, I ran out of rockets. We do have some anti-air traps up to help us out. And we're going to have to craft some more ammo. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and use my shield again. There's a lot of them over here. I got you. Hit me. There you go. Hit me. Now, I'm noticing that survivalist is really helping too. So you can still uh, get your health back. Because you can still get kills when you have your shield out. Thanks to our sonic wave. I think the only thing I don't like about it is that the cooldown takes forever. And the range isn't really that good either. Where is that survival at? Oh, there she is. Fine. You mean Down. Defender? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever her name is. Well, we just bullied that blaster. Get bullied. <laughs> it, yeah, the Santa's Little Helper is also really good when it comes to impact as well. But yeah, definitely recommend getting it. I don't know what happened to our plasma pulse right there. Sort of malfunctioned. Kind of sucks that. What's that? No, I was gonna say um, it kind of sucks that uh, the propanes can't be destroyed anymore when using a rocket launcher or something. Yeah, propanes are weird now. Like they don't drop them anymore, but they'll explode it if they have a third of their health missing. They'll just explode automatically. Oh, okay. So yeah, you gotta sort of like kill them quick now, I guess. Something How come like I can't that. shoot? Oh, I gotta reload. But yeah, when it comes to tank, I don't know if I would consider him to be like super useful. I'm trying to think of if there's gonna be like any sort of situations where he'll be useful, but uh, until we get some more heroes that can buff the going constructor, I kind of feel like uh, you may be better off using something else. Oh, hopefully they're getting closer. Oh, no. Yeah, I see them. They're, they're going up top, too. Let's see if we can get rid of them. Oh, we got takers. Yep. Be careful. Alright, I got, I, got, I got like a turret. We only got 30 seconds left, but we got a turret ready just in case. So, I do like the Sonic Wave. It seems like we were able to deal to some pretty decent damage with it as well. Really good for large groups of regular Hus. Not really good for single target mist monsters like smashers but yeah considering we don't have that many heroes that buff your going constructor i would definitely recommend getting them but yeah that'll do it for our first tank gameplay for those of you who have tried them let us know what you think about them definitely feels like we need some more heroes that buff the going constructor though Bonus challenge success. all right so we got a level five loot chest with some survivor xp go epic perk up and hero xp we also got some fire up up oh, and that's it anyways that'll do it for this one big shout out to cookies for helping us out hope y'all enjoyed it and thanks for watching